Hey guys, today I have another color story to share with you and it is one of my absolute favorites but it's also kind of a surprising one to me because I thought I had way, way more bronze in my collection in its entirety and actually I don't. But the few items that I do have are absolutely top notch. We are gonna start with one of my absolute favorites. Now this I got in a holiday kit last year and I still have not gone through it. I have used it a bunch of times, I promise you, but as we all know, pigments are really difficult to get through. This is actually a lot smaller than the full size that you can buy at MAC year round. The full size is gonna run you $22. This shade is called Museum Bronze and it is just a beautiful kind of chocolatey bronze which is one of my favorites where it's not overly warm. I love this. There's nothing coppery about it. It's just a true beautiful bronze. This works really beautifully wet. You can use it as an eyeliner. If you want to take an angled brush and just line your eyes, you know, using it wet, you can do that. Hell, you can even mix this in with a little bit of clear nail polish and make your own nail polish. Pigments work that way where you can mix it with any medium. Go ahead and mix your pigments and use them for a variety of different makeup situations. Okay, so this is a front runner for sure. I also noticed that one of my Makeup Geek shadows that I use all the time, and I have a ton of Makeup Geek shadows, this shade is called Glamorous and it is gorgeous. It is a beautiful golden bronze. This is $5.99 for your pan. I believe it's a few bucks more if you want to buy the individual that has its own individual case. It's gorgeous. It's really flattering. This is going to work with every eye color. There is something within the gold and the bronzy tones in here that really just emphasizes any eye. So I love doing a smoky look with that where it still remains very soft looking and I think this is one of my favorite Makeup Geek shadows. Moving on, something from the drugstore that I have is from Milani. And I just love this. I think it is so easy to just pat, pat, pat over top whatever shadow you have going on. And there is something about the shimmer in here that is a little bit chunkier that kind of reflects light, but it's not in like a tacky way. Like I feel like it still looks very elegant. So you get four shades in here. They are bronze, gold, coppery shades. And of course you can feel free to kind of blend and play with all of them. They're all gorgeous. So this is 90, $99. Oh, that would not be worth it. This is $9.99. Try to use a coupon, try to get it on sale. All right, moving on to another drugstore item. This one, you couldn't go through in your lifetime. They don't dry out, they wear all day, infused with vitamin E. They are very smooth on the lid and I have talked about these before many times on my channel. This is from Flower Cosmetics. It's called the Color Play Cream Eyeshadow and this one is in Flirty Floret. You open this up and it looks like frosting in here. And it's just a beautiful deep bronze. It has more of a chocolatey tone to it, but it's still warm. It wears beautifully all day long. It is not overly metallic. Like it's not gonna give you this kind of a shine up here. It's just really elegant. I have used this a ton and I've barely made a dent. And a lot of the time when you see me wearing something underneath the lower lash line and it feels really warm and kind of bronzy, that is what I am wearing just on the lower lash line even. And that retails for, I believe, $7, seven or $8. You can find those at Walmart. Let's talk about a little dirty bronze, which is actually how this color is described on the Sephora site. This is from Marc Jacobs, and this has to be one of my all-time favorite nail polish colors. Um, actually, not just color, formula, because you can put on one coat, it dries fast, it looks beautiful. Somehow it's one of those nail polishes that's just like so easy, you're just like da 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 perfect. One coat and it's like magic. The shade is called Petra. I have favorited this before, but I love it so much and I was looking through all of my nail polish, which really I've pared down my collection. I don't have as much as I used to. The only other bronze that I could come up with in my collection, this is not even really bronze. This is more like all of the colors of fall. But I'll give a quick shout out to the shade Brown Sugar from Butter London. This one is gorgeous. I have an eyeliner favorite that is just called Gold but actually I was swatching every single brown, kind of bronze, coppery, just any neutral with a little bit of shimmer and bronze-ishness. Like I was just swatching, 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 trying to find like, what do I have that's bronze? Everything was either really coppery, really champagne, 
or really like straight yellow gold. This is the only eyeliner that I have that is bronze. And actually I'm okay with that because I wear this one so, so much. I actually went through an entire one already. And I got this initially in the Sephora Favorites kit. You do have to sharpen it quite a bit because it does feel like it dries out and it just works better when it's fresh. Um, that might be the only drawback, but look at that. It is just stunning. I have it in my waterline today and it does not move. It is like so fudge proof, smudge proof, creamy, just, I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at all of my favorite bronze makeup items and that this will put you in more of a fall spirit. I know that it is end of summer, we are moving to fall, but you know, this is a great transition color. We have transition clothes, why not have transition makeup? I don't know, I'm not making a ton of sense here. Anyway, my point is, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what color I should do as a color story next, and I will see you guys next time. Mwah.